do, but the weather is a mess. So I'm printing orders and trying to wait on the wind, I mean rain to come down. Because I got the last three shelves. Please your card. Would you like an e-receipt? Finally. Thank you for shopping at the Home And they was $5 cheaper. I should have came to Home Depot from the jump, huh? <laughs> $5 for a thief. Thank you for shopping at the Home Depot. Then go get that. I ain't gonna be the right size, huh? <laughs> Put this in my purse. You sure you added it? I don't want to buy it tomorrow. I'm stealing. Y'all, don't listen to Miss Diva like. Get y'all some pink sugar. $17. Sis <laughs> go kidding me when she see this. Girl, look at Mark Jeans. I mean, Jean Mark. I tell you all the time he be knocking people's stuff off. Very sick, sexy by Victoria's Secret. Look, they got plenty. The goat, you hear me? <laughs> the big one, 29 probably. 21. Girl, they marking. He just done took all of Victoria's Secret waiting on me at the door. I can't get it. See? So, that's why I has to look like crap now. She don't care how it look. One ninety nine. I'll be like, oh, y'all look so dusty. Oh, I'm in disguise. <laughs> no more about to recognize me over here. Like, oh, it's all three ass. Operation flower pot. We have to plot. The pot my flower. I need to depot my ass to the house. This uh, acid cut my bread short today. It's about to kill me. Well, none of these are glam enough for me. Y'all, for my Christmas haul, this one, two, and the Burlington, one of the Burlington's by me. It smell good. <gasps> Hold the fuck up. Oh, girl, I got happy. I thought that was Mark Jacobs, uh, you know. No, I don't want you, Kim K. I'm trying to a whole nother bird. Trying to stay busy, man. I know how to overdo it. Lord. I'll show you what I got real quick. I got this. This is all going on this while. This one, hold on. This is missing a fake of it up. And I'm going to break this shit. This one right here. And then I'm gonna replant this. I couldn't find a good plant base I like. So I'm gonna use this basket, honey. It's a, uh, I don't know what it is, but it's gonna be a, it's just a storage bin. Let me hurry up so I can eat. So I also got, oh, nothing much really off the shelf. So what I just showed y'all, I got the stands for the white house. They love these around here. From Burlington, also from Burlington. I got another wreck. <laughs> I just had to have it. I feel like I got something missing. That's all the fact. Mm -hmm. I got my little baby that's not here. Some stuff. Mikey Jordan stuff. Yeah, I thought I had some Jordan stuff. Oh. Then last year I took Big Suge Apple Watch because she wasn't acting right. So I got her this one so she could trace her tracks and stuff for track. Okay. All right. Want it. Do you want it or not? No, if you don't want it, don't waste my I money. To, can I open this? Oh, okay. Because you're looking at it like you're too good for it or something. Like, baby, I'll show you. Go get my money back. Period. Yes. Where are you going to put it? Okay. So, um, it's going to have to go on this one. I think. Oh, I need another hand. Hold on, yeah. It's like back there. I really didn't need that shit. I'll just be doing stuff. I know how I go. Maybe, just maybe. It's just maybe. I should just not use it for perfume because clearly I got a whole rack down here that has room. Oh, 
be on my watches or something. You know, you know how it go. Okay, so let's try on while it's not grown and sexy, honey. New plant thing, new little decor. I need to find my bath and body work thing to plug in right there because it's made just like them right there because I had to disguise this paint screw up. <laughs> that thing was $12. This one right here was $19. This one was $24 and this one was $40, but they marked it down to $30. I don't know why. I just took it. <laughs> it looked like something missing right here. But it's abstract, so I'm going to be like this. Hold on. I'm going to be like this. And this came from Fashion Nova. <laughs> ah! Okay. All right, guys. So I decided to put the um, old perfume bottles from my what I got for Christmas in here. Okay. All right. Happy Monday, guys. Um, Not so happy Monday for me. back to the emergency room they flew out this morning i don't know it's just a lot it's just a lot okay and i'm trying not to cry on camera but but they flew out this morning for the funeral and i didn't go um i kind of it was a hard decision to make but everything happens for a reason because <clears throat> Like, they flight left at 12.55. And as I was texting, babe, I didn't tell her, but I was, like, literally on the toilet because my stomach was hurting. Um, and then blood just started splattering out everywhere. So, now I have blood in my stool. So, um, I never, ever started my treatment for H. pylori because I just got the meds and stuff. So, I don't know. Anyway, I called my doctor. No answer. I couldn't get through. Um, so, I emailed her. Couldn't get through. And so, of course, what did I do next? Go to Google and call a couple of my nurse friends. And, of course, any blood in your stool is not good. So, um, my nurse friends told me to just get up and go to the ER. So, I'm struggling with if I'm gonna, I even, I didn't even tell anybody in my house. I just said I had a doctor's appointment. I'm struggling to see if I'm gonna tell Nicole this when she land or like, y'all, it's a lot. It's a lot on me mentally. It's a lot on her mentally. Like, she's there to grieve her dad's um, death and I call her and say, hey, I'm back in the hospital. It's blood filled in the toilet. So, um, any blood in your stool is not a good thing unless you tear something. I haven't tore anything. So, I don't know. I'm just gonna go. I'm so tired, y'all. It's like, Right when I'm like, okay, here's a solution. Here goes something else. And so, I just got to telling you guys, stop diagnosing me and telling me what to do in my last week vlog. And now I gotta go back to the hospital. So, you know, hope all goes well about the time this vlog load if I get a vlog out next week because I don't know how this week is gonna go um about the time this vlog load hopefully we'll know what's going on kind of test and stuff they're gonna run so I'm just trying to remain calm I had to meditate a lot pray a lot because of course I'm alone 
Um, and this is really bothering me. So just going to sit here and meditate and see what they come up with. So guys, I'm still here. My blood pressure has elevated slightly, but that's suspected. Shit, my fucking nerves are shot right now. Um, they tried to give me that cocktail. What is it called? It's like the numbing and the, um, my lanza is white. You drinking it and numbs your throat, your esophagus and everything, but I refused it because none of that is bothering me. Um, they tried to give me nauseous medication. I refuse that too because I'm not that nauseous. Like occasionally a little little nauseous will come through, but nothing major. So I, I don't understand why when you come to the ER now, they just want to dope you up. No, find out what is wrong with me. I don't want medicine. I want to know what is wrong with me. Not one time have I complained about excruciating pain in my esophagus or anything like that, but they trying to give me this cocktail. And I haven't said anywhere I was nauseous, so I don't even know where that came from. I came straight in here and said that it's sharp burning pains in my stomach and I have blood in my stool. So I don't know where a cocktail came from, nauseous medicine came from, so it's very frustrating at this point. So she said all the doctor ordered was that cocktail and nauseous medication. And for her to draw blood um, so they can send it to the lab. Now, I don't know what drawing blood, the lab got to do with blood in my stool. But, yeah, at this point, I'm just like, whatever, whatever, whatever. All right, guys, sorry I never checked back in yesterday. It was just a rough day all around. Yeah, my baby's in Birmingham having a rough time. The funeral is actually going on right now, so I'm kind of worried about her. But my doctor just, not my doctor, the ER doctor just, look at my little plaid shot. The ER doctor just told me to, um, Follow up with my gastric doctor. He did a blood test, said all my blood and vitals and stuff was normal. So there's nothing that's stressed out inside of me. So he said it's either internal hemorrhoids or an ulcer bleeding. But still follow up with my gastric doctor and try to get a, a colonoscopy. So I've reached out to schedule both of those today. Well, no. I already have. Um, I already have an appointment with my gastric doctor on the 23rd. I reached out to see could I get in sooner. And yeah, that's where I'm at. There's my cute little pill bottle I got. I know it's dark, y'all, but which I really need to be out in the light getting some of this vitamin D while we got some sun. So that's a vitamin pill case. I got it from Amazon. It's real, 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 real cute. Suge stayed out of school this week to help me. That saves me. Label by days. And then when you take the little thing out, there's a night time and a day. So, you know, just a little some Anything to make this cute and <laughs> encouraging, okay? So, yeah, I'm about to take this dose right now. I have to take two amoxicillin in the morning and at night, one whatever this is in the morning and at night, and one protonic in the morning and at night. This is the acid reducer, the little yellow pill. Y'all know what antibiotics are, so yeah. All right, guys, so I just talked to Nicole, so I feel a whole lot better. I was worried about her. Um, she said it was a little rough saying, you know, I hate at um, funerals when you're at the gravesite and they start lowering the people in the ground before the family even leaves. Like, God damn, can you wait till I leave? But um, she's okay. I'm doing okay with the medicine. Like the first hour, I went through like this real nauseous stomach turning type vibe. I did use the restroom, clear, no, no blood. Um, and now I feel better. Like, I don't know, I guess I had to get a little shirt off my stomach. Um, but so far, so good. So what I'm gonna do is space them out 
12 hours away from each other so it's just not so boom 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 in my system um so i'm gonna take them every day at 1 30 until i'm done with them and i got um saltines on deck i think you guys remember in another vlog that i told you i was never threw up i can't throw up and kind of dry but sometimes i wish i could um but if I have it in this nine months, I doubt I will because, baby, I've had some rough, nauseous days. And all I get is bubbles, <laughs> T TMI. But, hey, I hope, you know, that, that's just what's weird to me about here. Everybody act like stuff is taboo. Like when I did my feminine hygiene video, some stuff should not be talked about. Well, God dang, if you got a coochie, you need to know how to clean it, period. But, yeah. Let's just hope and pray this all smooths over. I feel better like Nicole called. She was like, what's wrong with you? She said, all in my face. My stomach was cramping up. I was nauseous. Then, like, as soon as I hung up the phone with her, I went to the restroom. So, yeah. All right, you guys have cleaned me out. I think there's only, let's see, one. The Dardens and Black Lift. And that's Nicole's favorite pair. Sorry, y'all. Out of, one brown and one black left. All the rest of them are out of stock. We went to pack these today. I was like, boy, how they so. Of course, these stay out of stock. I don't know why it's not seeing it. Them gone. Everybody bought those. Gone. No, it's one more pair. I just added one more pair in stock. It's probably gone by. The, it's plenty of these. It's eight pair. And these are bad. The Nikki's in black. So, right, yeah. yes, it is practically 12 ish the next day. And I am so sick. I can't even explain it. I still have like extremely bad indigestion. I don't know if it's because taking all those antibiotics. Even though I'm taking a PPI with them. Um, I was up all night. My anxiety was super bad. Um, because like I would just wake up out of nowhere and it felt like my mouth was full of metal. Um my stomach would cramp all night and I would instantly have to go to the restroom. So my body is purging. And so I have another dose just due at one and I'm like horrified to take it because I already feel like shit. I was nauseous all yesterday. Everything I did everywhere I went, I had crackers and ginger ale with me. Um, I'm afraid I'm about to get dehydrated because I just keep going to the restroom, but it's real hard for me to drink and eat. So yeah, and it's just the first day. So today will be the second day. So what I'm going to do is this vlog is probably going to be, because I can't, at the rate I'm feeling, I can't see me doing nothing this week. So this vlog is probably going to be me explaining, I don't know if y'all can see me, um, H. pylori, my symptoms, and the first week of the medication. So I can tell you right now, if you don't want to see any of this, stop watching because I'm praying for a miracle and I'm praying that I just had to get that shit in my system. See, I can barely talk my throat and stuff. It's just so, I don't know, my indigestion real bad. Acid reflex or something, I don't know what's going on. But, uh, yeah, this ain't it. This is not it. Lord Jesus, this is not it. But I'm a tough through it. I have no choice because clearly my body is trying to rid something. I mean, we know bacteria. And I can feel every step of it. So, yeah. Nicole will be back tonight, though, which might be a good or a bad thing because when I'm real sick, I kind of don't like people around. They put me in a panic state because they get the panic in and they get the, what do you need? What do you want? What do you? And I'm just like, ugh. But at the same time, they probably will help with my anxiety because that's um, probably what's getting to me, too, is feeling this bad and I'm here by myself. Well, baby girl in there, but y'all, I can call her name three, four times and I have to text her before she even come in here. And if it's something serious, that's scary. So 
I'll check back in with y'all probably a little later. All right, guys, I'm trying to eat and in the bed. I, I can't help it. I ain't getting up. Trying to cut my stomach with a potato. And before I take my next dosage, and let me know. I'm laughing because of the text message that's coming through from Nicole. But let me know if when you sit, do you like a lot of people around you? Or you like to kind of be by yourself because you kind of like embarrassed is not the word, but to be throwing up and all that kind of stuff in front of people. You know what I'm saying? I know when I'm sick and a lot of people around me, it browse my anxiety, especially if they ain't helping them. Oh my gosh. And I hate to say it and I'm not bashing her, but Nicole is just not nurturing. Like I can dead ass shit get up with me. She'll get up with me, but then she asked me everything. Do you need water? Do you need an ice pack? Do you need a back massage? What is it? What is it that I can do? And oh gosh, when well, you're not feeling good. Mm -mm. See, I'm just a nurturer. So like, prime example, when my daddy was real, real sick after he got his surgery, he didn't have to tell me what to do. Like my daddy said, this is her dude. Okay, raising the bed, fluffing the pillow, put this under. Here goes some water. Here goes some ginger ale. Here goes your cracker. Here goes your wet towel to put on your forehead. On your forehead. I just automatically gravitate towards doing that kind of stuff because that's what I would want. I'm not gonna sit there when you dead smack in the middle of throwing up or dead smack in the middle of diarrhea. Need some water? <laughs> you need a fan? You need a. If I see your ass sweating, I'm gonna get you an ice pack. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Ooh. Okay, point of saying our little was tell me below in the comments. Do you like a lot of people around helping you when you sick or you kind of need to be isolated? Yeah, also, did y'all know that when you drink Pedialyte, which, 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 I'm gonna school y'all, hold on, but my, cause my camera fuzzy. Which, 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 I do not recommend this if you got um a weak stomach like me. My stomach ain't weak, but it's fragile right now, of course. The adult, stick to the baby kind. This should be making my stomach hurt, I think. The adult kind, this is the advanced care. I don't know if it's the flavor or I don't know. I just think I need to stick to the kind that's actually meant for baby since I have digestive problems. But anyway... Oh, yeah, I just be on a rampage. Did you know once you open Pedialyte, it's only good for 48 hours? Dude, do you know how long somebody done been sick and I done let this Pedialyte sit in the damn refrigerator and still be drinking it? And it say this shit biggest day on here. After you open, it's not good for 20, it's only good for 48 more hours. That's exactly what it say on here. That is crazy. And I buy this shit by the book. But anyway, yeah. So, just want to let y'all know that. I never, ever knew that. About to take this bullshit. Look at me, y'all. I'm going to be shook size by the time I'm done. Yes. Here comes my nurse. Your girl got a pack. Girl, she got a pack. Is it a wig, honey? Okay, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's roughly 8.30ish. I feel a little good right now. It's just be that 30 minutes to... Two hours after I first take the damn medicine. Um, I just ate chicken strips, grilled chicken strips. I ate two of them and a baked potato. Um, so my suggestion so far is to make sure you keep your stomach coated. So what I've been doing is like, of course, you guys know I already coat my stomach with a baked potato almost every day. Um, but what is called the breast diet, which is bananas, rice, applesauce, toast. Um, potatoes is pretty good, you know, to keep something on your stomach so the pills are not so on your system. Um, I do not drink while I'm eating because that creates a rush. Like, I feel like I have to vomit. 
if you guys know me, you know, I've never in my life vomited. I can't. So, um, it hits me on the other end. Whew, Tim, I'll be a... And so, I've actually felt like I was going to bum it, though. That's how strong these antibiotics and stuff are. So, of course, I have my water. I have my Gatorade, because the last thing I need to do is get dehydrated. Um, I have my ginger ale. And I have my crackers. I've almost ate this whole sleeve of crackers. That's how nauseous I've been. So, Bay is here. She actually stopped at Walmart to get me some crackers that do not have salt on them. And some probiotic yogurt. That's going to be good to help. Because the antibiotics and stuff is flushing out my good flora or stomach bacteria also. So, I need something to like replenish that. And yeah, for breakfast, um, I just ate a bowl of oatmeal with some bananas. I sliced them up with a banana sliced up. And I I don't eat lunch. I wait. I eat that at like 11. Then I wait till like 5 and eat dinner. And I don't eat anymore. Um, because, yeah. Mm -mm. It ain't sitting right. So... I don't know how I don't know how I want to get as far as like how my bowel and stuff is moving. Am I looking? It might be TMI, but anybody who needs to know if this is what's wrong with them and how to get through it, I feel like I'll let kind of stuff help them. So if I want to talk about that later on this week, I will. But right now I'm just I'm about to hop in the shower actually, and I'm just loading clothes on Poshmark. The girl, I gave all of the clothes and stuff away. You guys saw, I gave her five bags of stuff. But I don't like giving people like Fashion Nova, um, clubby type stuff because everybody don't dress like me. And so a lot of that stuff I did keep because I didn't want to like give it to her and she like, that's not her style and it just go to waste. So on top of giving away five bags of stuff, I still got a lot, a lot of stuff to load on Poshmark. So that's a yay for y'all because I know you guys have been waiting on that. And I'm, it kind of made me sad because it's like all this stuff is brand new with tags. But it's like 2X and stuff and it'll literally fall off of me. So yeah. It's day three. Still in the same spot. I had to send Bay to run my errands because this ain't it. So I'm about to start my third day. This ain't it, y'all. This is not it. I see. I Problem number one, I watch videos on this and I shouldn't have because it lets me know what to anticipate. And of course, it rouses my anxiety up because everybody was like, the first and the third day is the roughest and you're going to feel this, this, this. And I'm all that is happening. So I know a lot of you guys left under my last video that you didn't experience a lot of this stuff, but I am. I just can't believe Sunday I was so happy decorating my house and everything. Then boom, blood in my stool. Boom, nauseous all week. Boom, stomach. Ugh, girl, Nicole went to run out my errands. I'm bedridden and had to get up last night and help her. She got nauseous, passed out and all that. Yeah, that's just rough. Suge homeschooling to help us. She's a nurse now too. Go Suge. Um, I just ate oatmeal. I'm trying to let it digest. I tried to eat some Activia because I need some probiotics. I ain't happening. I have to get some pills because that shit is nasty. I hate yogurt anyway, unless it's frozen. Um, mm -mm, no. No. And my stomach hurting now, so I got to go. I'll check back here later. Okay, so I'm back. So the metallic taste is God often and it wakes me every hour throughout the night because it just feels like the pills are just still sitting in my mouth and just, oh my gosh. Like, I've had to take metronidazole before for bacteria infections and it's like metronidazole times 10. Metronidazole, the, the, the me metallic taste is when you eat and drink something mostly, but this with this shit is just period. It just tastes like you're sucking on a pipe. Like, what the hell? So, I've been doing honey, just sitting it on my tongue. Cinnamon, just sitting it on my tongue. 
baking soda and salt, brushing my teeth with it to get rid of that because that's, that's the part that's freaking me out. And of course, that makes all my food taste terrible. And then um, I'm on Protonic. Pantropazole, I think that's what it's called. The dupe for Protonic. Um, and it's not helping with my indigestion and stuff because the antibiotics are strong. And if anybody know, antibiotics cause indigestion. And I'm on two different kinds, strong dosage. So it's it can't fight, the Protonic can't fight that. So I still have slight indigestion and throat and chest discomfort when I swallow sometimes. So um, I can't imagine how damaged my insides are, but I will see soon because I get to go get the endoscopy and I, I'm getting a colonoscopy too, just to make sure. <clears throat> and it's just all scary because you know, my biggest fear used to be breast cancer. So anytime, <clears throat> you know, cause that's what my mom had twice. Um, and then my daddy had stomach cancer in May, and now I'm having stomach problems nonstop. So I just want to be sure, y'all. Um, I've been fighting. I've been fighting this shit for nine months, so I ain't no point in giving up now, but it's just rough. I'm going to go before I cry. I'm about to get fired from all my sponsorships. That's cool. <laughs> Big Platt will be good without them, but I don't get what these companies don't understand, but I'm sick. Which I barely can stand up and y'all want me to do try-ons and perfume videos. Y'all know how I am about that. Honey, I will see y'all inventory out back and wish y'all will. Like, I understand it's frustrating. But just imagine being the person who's always sick. It frustrates me to have to email them and be like, I'm, I'm still sick. I'm not feeling good today. I'm still sick. I just got out the hospital. Like, because I start to feel like they feel like I'm lying. And why would I lie about something like that? That's okay. For the, for the ones I lose, I gain 10. Because my God is awesome. But in other news, I just looked at my clips and girl. <laughs> oh, y'all need to get y'all some of them hair products. Because, baby, a couple of, baby, November 22nd ish or whenever it was, all my hair fell out. Baby, I had no hair over there. See, that's why that nobody ever believe I'm sick. Because I'm childish and I play too much. But now, I'm for real. I finna put the picture in. I had like whole freaking bald spots. Of course, I find out now that's because of H. Pollard. But baby, look at them edges come back. Them edges. <laughs> Ooh, I can't piss with y'all. Ooh, see them edges. <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm gonna stop playing. Nicole need to hear up and come back. I'm concerned about her too. I don't know why I just don't like to be left alone. The only person I want around me is Suge and Nicole, or even my daddy aggravate me. He been coming here trying to make me eat greens and shit. Daddy, get out. Please. Let me tell y'all why. I'm going to just tell y'all why. Y'all ain't got nothing else to do, right? Okay, listen. Because my daddy tried to put... Remember my last vlog? My daddy tried to put everything off on me. So, hey, hi, y'all. So, my daddy tried to put everything off on me. He'll be like, he'll come here. You feeling any better today? No, sir. Not at all. Well, get up and go to the hospital. Because, um, cause see, my stomach hurting too. So, I'm finna just go and get the corona shot. He just be saying stuff like that. And it aggravates me. <laughs> aggravates my soul. Like, daddy. <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm dead serious. This man done signed up to get the corona shot, sir. They're like, why, sir? Then when you're around here sick, who going to help all of us? Like, I don't get it. Bye, y'all. Your mama brought me dinner. It's the chicky patty and soup. What you got? I got a chicken sandwich and some fries.
Let me see your dog. Chai. I could come up clear out here. <laughs> for a shower routine. This base. I need two. Two. Day four. And the eyes are stressed. <sighs> all right, all right. I'm eating oatmeal and apples. It's little afternoon, but I take the medicine every 12 hours at one. 145-ish between that time. So I'm trying to coat my stomach. I've coat my stomach 30 minutes before I eat. I mean, before I take the medicine. That helps a lot. Nauseous is gone. My indigestion is gone. Um, Last night, I do notice that, I don't know if I said this already, I'm just all over the place. This, me this treatment is harsher on me at night time. So last night, my symptoms were, I literally felt like it has to be the white pill. Because I'm used to my, well, I'm used to all of them, but at separate times. But I, throughout the night, I feel like the pill was just literally sitting in my mouth still. That's how strong, I'm sorry, I ain't washed my face or nothing. I don't even know how I look. Nose dry. But um, that's how strong, uh, Nicole got up at like 5 o'clock in the morning and got me some honey. To just sit on my tongue and some cinnamon. I've got energy. Um, I'm not stomach sick, indigestion shit sick, none of that sick. I just feel sick. I can't. Exp I just feel. I can't even describe it, y'all. I just feel like I don't feel well. I, I can't explain it. But I'm just not like, oh, I'm dying. I'm quitting this medicine. Or, oh, I'm dying. I ain't going to make it through this treatment. No, I ain't nothing like that. So, yeah, we're going to try to go. Nicole and Shug has been working. So, they've been going up to the warehouse working. And I'm going to try to record um, a shower routine. I mean, I shower every day anyway. So, that ain't like I got to do nothing extra. Get dressed and all that. So, yeah. That's today. Tomorrow, I'm going to sit down with Bay, and we're going to go over everything I've experienced. I'm going to pull out my doctor bills and everything so I can tell y'all when I was running to the hospital and why I was running to the hospital for all of this to be H. pylori. So, um, yeah, th because I found these videos really, these videos really really helped me when I got diagnosed because I ain't never in my life heard of this shit. I've heard of salmonella. I've heard of a whole bunch of other stomach shit, bacteria and shit you can give it. I've never ever heard of this. So I literally watched 10, 15 videos from doctors. From I like the videos more from people who've had it because I noticed that a lot of the videos from doctors, they're trying to sell their product. So anyway, I want to tell you guys my symptoms because whoa just imagine everybody i watched found this shit out in like two weeks to two months just imagine having it almost 10 months my body is fucking shock you know what i'm saying but let's go bae what you got baby so you guys know i swear by flavor guys so let me show you what i got the garlic lovers is one of my favorite and i get these because the sodium either doesn't exist in them or it's really low like one percent like look at the sodium right there two percent so you can put as much seasoning on your phone <laughs> food as you want and don't have to worry about your blood pressure shooting up lemon lemon and garlic this is one of my favorite well all these are my faves that i've tasted that only has one percent this one right here is everything but the salt. So, of course, that means it has 0% in it. And this one right here is everything. And it has 2%. So, I just recorded my shower routine. I've moved back to my side of the bed. 
I was on that side to be closer to the bathroom. And I'm tired. It's like I ran a marathon. So I'm gonna lay down, eat and edit. Try again tomorrow, cause uh, no, a bitch tired. We got groceries delivered. First of all, y'all told me to get this and ah, uh, uh, uh. No, ma'am. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Y'all tried it too, it's disgusting, right? Ugh. Then they sent us a whole bag of somebody else's groceries. They always do that. Been a little better. I thought I was gonna, yeah. I thought I hit a lick. I'm gonna go have me some good juicy juice or something. Baby, I'm gonna drink this. Oh, and then this one right here is lemon ginger. Can y'all imagine how this one tastes? Should I even open it? Should I even open it? Or say the ones I ain't open for Tweet because she drink it all the time. Say the ones you ain't open for her. Because, baby. Saying, yeah, you baby, 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 bunny gang gang. I'm a little rider. Y'all know her little shoot. So we got this today. It should look a little bit more clear. Lens was fuzzy. And uh, yeah. Okay, sis. They said this is the best nacho cheese that's vegan, dairy free, etc., etc. It is made out of cashews, water, tomatoes, oh my gosh, carrots, green, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Everything it say you can name, okay? <laughs> I was so excited about this wild Sunday. I was supposed to pop y'all with some try-ons, bruh. Man. Anyway, Naturalist Beauty Con sent us some sage. Baby, there's some energy need to get out this house. I'm not playing. I'll link it below. I'm gonna be like. <laughs> so I'm actually quite caught up. Oh, <clears throat> this look quite caught up. Anyway, I just have to do a Shein try on, Fashion Nova try on, Lovely Wholesale try on, Rose Gale try on. And then there are three wigs I need to do. Um, The wigs, Lovely Wholesale, and May. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get Fashion Nova out the way, probably because all these other companies are gone for Chinese New Year. I'm quite sure. So, I'm sitting here trying to figure out a couple things. And, uh... Fuck your ass, don't bother. <laughs> it's a jerk. Why do you need an inflatable? Show them the box, please. What? Take it down. Right by right there. Why do you need an inflatable chair, ma'am? So I can sit in it. And it got the little foot thing. What does that even say on there? It don't matter what it say. Gr it say good, good, good for resting. It look like a trash bag. I can blow you up a trash bag. Well, you can blow this up too if you want to blow something up. Blow these. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Why she blow up her chair? I told you I was gonna wait on babe. So we can tell y'all my symptoms. Still can't see. Yeah, this is gonna be the view, y'all. I was gonna try to get up today. It was a pretty day today too, huh, babe? Yeah. Mm, ain't happened. I've been here knocked out. So the uh, one of them things kicking my tail is draining me. Or oh, my body is just tired trying to fight, probably. But anyway. I told y'all I was going to sit down with baby. She over here. Y'all take my word on it. Oh. <laughs> Say you in attendance. I'm in attendance. So, I'm going to wait on y'all because it's been a long 10 months, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, let's just start with the fact that how many things have I thought I had? I thought I'd have had Corona about how many times? At least twice. Um... Yeah. So I thought for me getting that laser tattoo removal, the ink was uh the ink was seeping through and giving you the that illness. Yeah, the 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 ink wasn't detoxing out of my body, right? Basically, mm -hmm. and getting trapped somewhere else, making me sick. They thought it was breast cancer. We didn't thought I'd have had a heart attack. We didn't thought I had a stroke. <clears throat> we thought it was uh, like all blood pressure related. Yeah, we thought it was blood pressure problems. Um, we thought something was wrong with my heart. We thought it was 
panic attacks I was having, which I was, but we'll get to that. A bunch of stuff. Bunch of stuff. <laughs> so let me tell you what I what all I've been to the hospital for. I've been for um dehydration. I've been for malnutrition, which I did not know that's what it was at the time. Mm -hmm. But I was like extremely dizzy. Like she had to leave work one day. I couldn't even walk. Like I couldn't walk up the hall. I couldn't walk to the shower. I couldn't do anything because I was so dizzy and out of it. This done happened twice. One time she was in Nashville recently. Mm -hmm. um, all of a sudden I was doing fine. And then my head just got real heavy. And um, I got real dizzy. And I was dizzy a whole week. I vlogged that though. That's when I went and got the corona test and stuff. But anyway, oddly... I've been for stomach problem. Remember the first time I went to Charlton, yeah. they gave me an a IV, a modium AD and a shot, and some painkiller and sent my ass home because all my vitals was good. They, It's weird to me how I've been to the hospital for so many stomach and digestive problems, and ain't nobody ever thought to look, thought to look for H. pylori. Like the, the last doctor who diagnosed me said it right off the top of her head. <clears throat> I've been to the hospital for side pains. Of course, you went for indigestion one time because it had got so bad. Mm -hmm. um, uh, shoulder and arm pains because I thought I was having a heart attack. I've been to get a mammogram. Mm -hmm. They thought it was breast cancer. I've been to a cardiologist because they thought my heart was failing. I've been to an ENT doctor mm -hmm. because I don't know how. Why would they send me to an ear, nose, and throat doctor when they were supposed to be sending me to a gastrologist? But... The H. pylori has been swelling my right tonsil. So they thought something was going on in my throat. An abscess, which ironically, I think that was the start of all this trying to purge out of my body because I've been having that bump on my side for how long? At least 10 years. Eight, maybe. We've been married 10. I said, well, eight, maybe. So, um, yeah, I done had that, that bump tested for breast cancer and everything, having them. Yeah. And all of a sudden, he wanted to get swell, and it was so, the odor was so bad on it, y'all. Like, when I got in the cold car, it filled her whole car right. And I'm like, I thought it was my waist beads. I cut them off and everything. Now I took them off, because mm -hmm. by this point, they sliding off, because that's when I first started losing weight, but wasn't really noticing it like that. Mm -hmm. Um, I washed the waist beads and everything, and I kept smelling. I'm like, what the hell is going on? We put heat on it. We put heat, on it. ice, everything, and it just kept getting bigger, and fever was in it, and the smell just got worse and worse and worse. So, yeah, been to the well, I actually went to the hospital for that about four times, huh? Because I had to keep going back because yeah, yeah. it wouldn't stop draining. Mm -hmm. And the last time I went back, they taught us how to drain it at home because. Corona was so bad, and they was like, it's too many people up in here with Corona. You don't want to risk it. And so that didn't heal, right, because we had to it do it ourselves, basically. So it's kind of like I still got a black hole in my side. It's the weirdest shit ever. Um, I'm trying to make sure we're not missing out on nothing. Basically, every time I went to the emergency room, it's all been like the same. I either was dizzy. Um... Well, I'm going to tell you why. I was either dehydrated. I was either malnutrition. That's why, huh? Mm -hmm. Every single time. It got so frustrating. They would come in there. Your blood is fine. You're, um, you're not having a heart attack. Your x are fine. Your EKG is fine. Your pancreas, liver, everything is perfect. And then they did the, the blood pressure test where you lay down and stuff. And yeah, out. they saw that. That was like two block, three oh, blocks yeah. ago. Yeah. So, <clears throat> what they have done trying to treat this is took me out my blood pressure pills so now when it spikes i get nervous but the cardiologist said my shit ain't ever high to begin with did he yeah. he said everybody blood pressure don't have to be 120 over 80 that's just like the standard range if your body is used to a certain pressure that's not high um they've treated me for GERD so i've been on protonic i've been on what's the one nexium mm -hmm. i've been on all that and i would get the symptoms would get tolerable, but I still wasn't myself because I started getting like muscle spasms and all that kind of shit. So they've treated me for, that's about it, huh? I think so. So basically all the times I would leave the hospital, 
um, they would doctor me up with painkillers or and tell me to just stay de stay hydrated. Get some Gatorade, get some water. And how the fuck can I stay hydrated if my body is not absorbing these nutrients because my stomach lining fucked up. So that's why when I left the hospital for like the first how many days I would feel good. Like the first three maybe? Three because they would insert the nutrients into my veins. It didn't have to go through my stomach and get digested. After that, when they wore off, Mind it was... You went through three bags on that last one. Yes, they just kept, like, that's how dehydrated I was. Mm -hmm. So, they've told me to switch my diet, which I did. So, that plays a big, big part in me losing weight also. I probably wouldn't be this little, but I've made a lot of lifestyle changes. I don't eat candy. I don't drink soda. Nothing but ginger ale and water is all I drink, basically. Mm -hmm. Um... My whole diet has changed. Bacon attests for that. I used to be a horrible. I come from the shop, eat nachos, lay down, go to sleep. But that's because of the lifestyle I was living. Um, if we go to a restaurant, I pick the healthy option still, don't I? Mm -hmm. Even if my stomach is, I might, I might taste like base or I might get some. And I really like take a bite of stuff and then like bring it home to sugar, right? Mm -hmm. So anyway, so I changed my diet because this is what they was telling me to do. Change your diet. You're overweight. No, you're morbidly obese. That's what they would call me all the time. Mm -hmm. And so when I did all of my lifestyle changes, I changed how I, I ate. I changed the amount of water I drink. And that was all in trying to fix. Yeah, to fix. When I did all that and I still wasn't better. Mm -hmm. It don't have a, I actually felt better fat, right? I said it all the time. Like, I felt perfectly normal when I was fatter. Or, well, I ain't really, am I really still considered fat? Kind of, sort of. Just not morbidly obese like they would put on my charts. So, um, anyway, um, where was I going with that? Oh, yeah. That's what I did. All the lifestyle changes because they was just like, it's just good. Just take your medicine. Like, even the ENT specialist told me they're right. Mm -hmm. Was like you you getting worse because the acid is building back because but them pills was killing me so I thought it want them damn pills right mm -hmm. so now we can talk about the symptoms I had well, let's start from the head what happened you was having headaches no 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 my hair fell out oh what are you having headaches I'm talking about we going body wise though from head to toe your hair come before your head so first of all. My hair fell out. That is the major thing. You see, I'm a, I often say I'm a YouTuber. But, <laughs> so I do a lot of hair reviews. So either I slick my hair back, stocking cap, have some braids under there for a long time, right, babe? Yeah. So I never noticed my hair falling out because I don't comb my hair regularly like, regularly like that. And it might sound nasty to some, but a lot of African American females do that. They braid it up and, even sometimes when it's braided, I still wash it right, babe. I just don't take the braids down. So anyway, that was the first thing that was alerting. I I had like, what, about four or five ball spots throughout my head, huh? All my edges, it, it was just horrible. Like, all in the, I combed it. It was full in the sink. Then I tried to wash it. It was just all over the shower. But that's the first thing. Then the headaches. I'm not a headache person. I tell Bay all the time. I'm used to my stomach hurting, but not my head. Like, when I get sick, my stomach and body and stuff hurt. My head don't ever bother me. And see, Bay suffers from migraines. So, she's the complete opposite. Her head will hurt before her stomach will hurt. So, I just kept telling Babe, this ain't normal because I don't get it. And it wasn't normal headaches, right, Babe? It was like... Like, on one side, it was like, they was almost like migraine symptoms. They was like on one side or at the back of your head. Mm -hmm. they, would, they would just go wherever they wanted to go. Like... Or travel. Or travel. Yeah. yeah. All right, so my eyes, oh my gosh, they would hurt so bad, right? Mm -hmm. They were, well, this one, especially my right one, that's already low. That's why I always thought I was having a stroke. My eye, my socket would hurt so bad and have so much pressure in it. So, oh my gosh, so much pressure. And then my ears started hurting because I started getting a pain in my neck and it would travel to my ears. So they would say... That's why I was dizzy too. Like the acid was coming up and it was turning lining of something. I can't remember y'all. They don't tell me so much shit. It was turning a lining of something in my ear. My breath was off right. Mm -hmm. Like I would like I didn't want nobody like real in my face or 
or nothing like that throat i just explained that my right tonsil will swell up so bad sometimes it feel like stuff was stuck right there i couldn't swallow or i get like um ulcers like little bumps things right there when i ate certain food so moving on from the neck um shoulder. my shoulder pains and that's enough see when you have a woman and you have arm shoulder neck like pains that's like you, your body trying to tell you, you something ain't right with your heart and that's and you could be having a heart attack so that's why like two of the times i went to the er because the doctors actually told me to one time they did me a telephone visit remember yeah. and the doctor was like i can't even touch that over the phone anytime something wrong with your you need to go to the er yeah. chest lord jesus i don't had a plethora of things coming from my chest you hear me mm -hmm. i don't had heartburn of course obviously and then i've been sore all up in here kind of like when you work out or lose weight or something i mean lose weight work out or lift weights like in the, muscles. Like, in the like just sore all up in here for no particular reason i don't do anything strenuous um palpitations that's the number one thing remember i would go to i went to the hospital for that too mm -hmm. It would sound like my heartbeat was in my ear. Doom, doom, doom. And so loud and so fast. I would get my Apple Watch. We'll talk about that next. What I did to at home to make sure I wasn't having heart attacks and stuff. But anyway, the palpitations. Um, Did I have uh, anything else? Upper. Upper. Upper besides arm pain, joints. Joint pains is a symptom of H. pylori, which I don't see how they connect, but I'll read on it. Um... Moving on to the stomach, ironically, I never really had stomach problems until it was time to use the restroom, right? right. So, um, I would have like sharp pain shoot through it sometimes, but oh my gosh, it always happened at night, right? <laughs> it just hit me out of nowhere and I felt like my stomach was on fire, literally. I would tell Bay, I would have to have ice packs, fans, everything wow. in the restroom, water. I would be bent over. I couldn't even... I couldn't even sit up on the toilet right. Mm -hmm. Like you would come in there and my face would be like in my lap. Mm -hmm. That's how bad it was. I could not sit up, period. All kind of stuff, y'all. And it would be bad. Once <clears throat> it started, it wouldn't stop. Like I would have to run back like three, four times. Then the last time it got so bad, like Bay was literally helping me to the restroom. I couldn't even walk hardly right. Because mm -hmm. I was just bent over in so much pain. Um, Memory. My memory, my brain just be so foggy. Like, I get frustrated and start crying, don't I? Because mm -hmm. I be trying to say something, and it's just like, my own brain can't even say what I'm trying to say. Or it gets so cluttered, or I have to say it three, four times before it to sound right. Um, I'm trying to think of the stuff that's not physical pain and stuff. Anxiety. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's through the roof. I don't even want to be around people. I rush everything I'm doing because I want to get it over with. That anxiety is a beast. And yours will be too if you've been sick 10 months and people been telling you it's everything except what you got. You'll never know what's going on with your body. Um, depression. Like, I think this last time I was in the hospital, I don't think I've ever been like this low. Like, well, I'm talking about this last time. Hell, that was Monday. <laughs> like I text Bay, like Bay, it's it, I don't even like waking up no more because I know I'm gonna be sick. Yeah. Like I, I that's just the honest to God truth. Um, I physically couldn't work. <clears throat> it would be times I would try to record, and I lose my breath. Right, mm -hmm. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't make it through it. I made it through it. You get anxious throughout it. I get so my anxiety will rile up. I have to stop the camera, come here and like sit down for like thirty minutes and then end the video. Mm -hmm. Um, hot flashes. Well, I don't know if them hot flashes is because of that or this done pushed me into early menopause. That's another thing. My body was under so much stress; it has pushed me into early menopause. So, um. Please, if you're watching this video and you've been diagnosed with H. pylori, all of the videos that I've watched, um, I could totally understand the people's symptoms, right? We was watching one lady. I will link her video below. Me and Bay watched her video and Bay was like, this sound like you talking. The symptoms are so similar. similar. Like, this sounds like you. But our it's different because it's sad to say, and I don't want to sound like this, but all of those women was had these symptoms for like two, three weeks, a month. And a doctor found out ASAP. Mm -hmm. 
and I hate to say this because I got viewers from all over. I honestly think that's a race thing. Like, I haven't found, like, any other video of an African-American woman going through all this and then had to go through this shit 10 months before somebody listened to her. You get what I'm saying? Like, these women went straight in the room and they, they believe. Uh, it got so bad, I started feeling like a hypochondriac. And I would tell Bay, do y'all even believe I'm sick? Like, right. Mm -hmm. Sorry, y'all. That's how bad it got. Like, imagine telling everybody because I'm a I'm a keep it going type person. So obviously, I don't lunch businesses. I still go to work. I still I still function. But y'all don't see behind scenes. Once I'm done with that little bit, I'm bedridden for what? It's been a time I've been buried for two, three days because I don't try to work. Yeah, I don't see all that. Whew. So when I'm telling people I'm not feeling good, everybody looking at me like you was just on the gram. You just did a video. You was just have to eat. But y'all don't know what babe has went through with me too. Like y'all don't see babe. I'm rushing babe at the restaurants. <laughs> I'm brushing babe in stores like I got to get out of here. I'm waking her up. She leaving work. She the one at the emergency room. She couldn't even come out in. She's sitting in the car waiting on me. Wouldn't leave. Like, I was sick one time when you was up. Yeah, she was sick one time. And we can tell y'all now, but we didn't tell y'all then. Back in July, they had COVID. So that's why we swore. Do you want them to know that? Oh, you don't okay. care? Oh, <laughs> I edited this shit. I want y'all to know that. So we swore that was my problem. <laughs> I was like, I got this shit too. You know what I'm saying? All alone, man. It's been a fucking bacteria in my stomach. Eating my lining. The reason why... Oh, oh I keep getting off track. Where I was going with, if you have H. pylori, don't think your symptoms are going to be severe as mine because I've watched a lot of videos and my anxiety has raised from watching those videos. So if your doctor just diagnosed you or you're looking into it, do not look at my video and be like, oh, I'm going to feel like I'm dying too. I had that shit 10 months, y'all. Ain't no telling what damage that has done on my body. It started affecting everything because what a lot of people don't know is your brain is controlled by your gut. That's why when you get hungry, you get angry. You know what I'm saying? That's why when you get hungry, you get discombobulated. You get, you get, you know what I'm saying? Because your gut controls everything in your body. So just imagine your gut being out for 10 whole months. 10 whole months. So anyway, um. So if you, if you have like any of those type of symptoms that she naming, Go to your doctor and ask. Just them ask them to do the test. Yeah. They can test through your breath or they can test through your stool. The test is real easy. That's why I don't understand nobody. I've had my blood drawn like 40 times, bro. I've had about five EKGs. I've had four x-rays. I've had scans on my brain, mm -hmm. pancreas, liver, um, kidneys. All that and all I had to do was take some stool. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Bay phone is propping my phone up. So I know that's loud in y'all ear. If you guys watch me, you guys have seen a lot of stuff going on during this pandemic. And I just dropped a bum on y'all. On top of all of that, Bay had COVID. <laughs> so um, the reason why I didn't disclose that information then is because it was still pretty new. And honestly, I didn't want it to affect my business. You get what I'm saying, babe? Yeah. Like, if I would have got on her, oh, babe, I, I ain't ordered from her. And then I wasn't even selling shit come to me by Nikki. So, mm -hmm. I just didn't want it to be where, like, mm -hmm. I started back doing makeup and stuff and people didn't want to come to me. That's another thing. How I leave that out? I had to retire. <laughs> like, yes, COVID was the reason, but I could have went back to work, honestly. I just couldn't go back to work. I physically couldn't. How can I stand over somebody and, and do makeup and my joints hurting and my... I'm nauseous. I can't, I can't stand up. Like, it's been some days I physically could not get out of bed. So, anyway, um, that's why we never shared that story. Because I don't want to start back doing makeup. People like, I ain't going to hook us, babe. Corona, like, <laughs> nah. And then out of respect for babe, like, yeah, that's my wife. That's my nigga, period. But I'm not finna just come on her. Y'all babe got corona. That's her, baby. that's her story to tell. You know what I'm saying? That is her story to tell, but why I want to come back and do a video 
It's babe, don't don't be cap on big play. How well how many days did I heal your ass? It's ten. She tested negative in 10 days. She didn't even have to go a whole 14. So nine good days because nine and we went to take the test again the next day. Mm -hmm. And I kept everybody in the house and nobody else got it. So mm -hmm. if y'all want a video on what I gave her, what I made her do, all that, that's going to have to be separate. We're trying to get to the end. We're trying to get to the end. And I don't even have to tell y'all about how the medicine. Oh, basically they treat you a two week intense course of antibiotics and a ppi which is a from something i put across screen <laughs> um so they just put me back on a ppi i was already taken which is pantroprazole so i have i'm on day five i have nine more days to go so next week i should start a, start trying to like get up and move around and see how i'm gonna do huh yeah. get back in a swing already of kind of like you got a little life back into you and oh we forgot so much stuff remember my eyes will be red because like oh, yeah. something like bloodshot. like bloodshot red like somebody was choking me all the time remember my gums would turn white oh yeah I forgot about that. uh like i would get so scared see my thing is now i've been sick so long one pain i'm crying because I'm just tired, like, for instance, me and Bay went around all last Sunday shopping. I done redid the living room wall and everything. I had so much energy and was doing so good and wake up Monday bleeding. Yeah. It's unpredictable. So, um, I was reading a forum last night and people was updating us on, I still suffer from this. And, I, and Bay said, get your ass off of there. <laughs> that, that your anxiety already bad because I'm like, you mean tell me I'm gonna take this two weeks of medicine and I'm still gonna be sick? But what you say, babe? You can't. You you've already been dealing with it for nine months. So everything they complaining about, basically, because I keep saying what I say, babe. But go ahead, because I don't know why I do that and I over talk you. I'm sorry. Um, uh, but like I was trying to tell you that those people have only been dealing with it for a few weeks or a few months and you've been dealing with all of the stuff that they're talking about for the last nine months so how much more intense can it actually get especially if you take a medicine to try to take care of it so you you looking at everybody's horror stories but everybody else's stories have just started yours have been going for nine ten months at this point mm -hmm. so, i actually think my stomach had toughened back up and yeah. That's another thing. You could barely eat it all at first. Like Oh, oh, that's the main symptom we missed out on. My body didn't want nothing but potatoes and waffles. Yeah, that's why I was saying you you changed your diet trying to get trying to get right because you that you literally couldn't eat a whole lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Like you you went through a, a, a only waffles phase and a only potatoes phase and a so it's just like you just trying to figure out what happened, but those people's horror stories just started. You've been going through it now for like nine or ten months. So you, I think your your uh, peak of it has probably already peaked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. My peak of it has peaked and my body, my immune system has been fighting it so long that I've kind of, I kind of got used to it. Mm -hmm. Like it's sad that I would tell babe, my, I can't deal with my stomach hurting I, because I'm, no, I would tell babe, the heartburn or the indigestion I'm used to. Like, I could deal with that. I had, my body had got so used to it. I was going on every day, my daily functions, with feeling like something was stuck in my damn chest. Mm -hmm. So, I would tell, babe, I, I could deal with the indigestion, but this this headache, uh-uh. Because mm -hmm. I had got so accustomed to feeling that feeling in my chest, I just would keep it moving. Mm -hmm. yeah, me and babe have fought. We cried. We, she's been there for me because there's been times I don't be like, you don't believe me, huh? <laughs> do you not, do you not understand I'm sick? Do you not understand I can't eat that? You ain't gonna leave work. You ain't gonna stay here with me. But it literally be, will be days I'm just like, ha 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 ha. And then the next 10 minutes I'm dying. Yeah. So like, they would see me like, oh, she up working a day. She up cooking a day. Good. And gone on about her business. Then, an uh, hour went to Bay work shift. I'm bent over and can't walk. It's the weirdest shit ever. How the shit just boom kick in, and I'm, I literally, how many times I don't said I'm dying? A lot, especially this weekend. I was like, dude, because I felt like you was gonna give up. So I was like, I'm sitting up in this ER by myself.
I had to, I I'm sick as hell. No, I was so sick. My stomach and stuff was like someone was in it shredding it with a knife. And they got me sitting up in this ER. And then I kept feeling like I had to use the restroom some more. And I didn't want to go in the, the lobby restroom. They called my name. I missed. Like, mm -hmm. it was just a plethora of things. Then they get me in the room. And all they do is, like, try to duck. That's another thing. That's what I was going to say. Mm -hmm. Do not. Every African-American person that come through the emergency room don't want painkillers. Every single time I went, what's the first thing they would try to do? Do you, do you pain I said, I'm, I don't want that. I want y'all to figure out what's wrong with me. I'm not addicted to nothing. I don't want y'all doping me up just to get me out of here. I want y'all to figure out what is wrong with me. Like, you have the right to refuse medicine. And make sure they don't charge your insurance company, too. Because we took Bay one time and they charged her for x-rays she didn't even get. Like, the hospitals and stuff just be doing crazy stuff. So, anyway... They gave me medicine I didn't need. She went for back pains. They gave her some goddamn permethazine syrup, like she coughing or something. Oh, I went off, huh? Yeah. Oh, I be going off. See, and see, I guess that's the problem because I'm a pit bull and Bay real passive. So I be wanting Bay to do people like I be doing people for her. Like, I done ran up in a hospital before having a, like, why the fuck y'all give her this? To, like, but I know that's not the right way to handle things, but. I'm just going to make sure my people good, period. So, anyway, we've talked long enough. Let us thumbs up if you want to hear Bay Corona's story, which ain't extravagant because this little nigga beat this shit real easy. <laughs> and they have, that I can't say that, day. I don't know who going to watch this. <laughs> but, and she didn't have many symptoms. She had them. She lost her sense of smell and everything, but we ain't telling y'all that. Y'all got to ask for that. Goodbye. So I'm laying in bed with my shrimp, grits, and salmon. And I'm watching this live on Facebook. I be buying my uh, have a here. dupes from. I don't want to share with y'all because I ain't going to be able to get nothing. Damn. Why somebody asked me for my birthday how was my, did I know my, was my Chanel Flower real? Y'all, don't play with me. Y'all know I got like this friend right here and my, my best friend sell. Don't think that I can't afford the real thing because I support my friends who sell dupes. I mean, I just like it and want to support them and I buy it.